Thank you for coming by and watching this video. If you enjoy this video or feel you've benefited from it, consider going to patreon.com forward slash newbiehack and support these efforts. You'll have access to 20 of my latest videos that hasn't been published on YouTube yet. So to review, we have all the data pins from D0 to D7 connecting, connected to the, the pins on the microcontroller that are going to be sending the byte. We have pin number 35 connected to the enable to the microcontroller. We have the read write and the register select connected to the LCD from 33 and 34. And we connected the, the ground on the microcontroller and we connected the ground from pin number 31 to the from the microcontroller to the LCD, the ground pin for the LCD. We connected the ground pin also from the microcontroller to the to one side of the potentiometer to adjust for contrast and connected the VCC or the VDD in this case, the five volts from the five volts coming from the programmer to the microcontroller or to the LCD and the V0 pin on the microcontroller and the V0 and the V0 pin on the LCD is connected to the wiper third the wiper lead of the potentiometer so everything should be connected correctly hopefully now we can start programming and see if we get any output from the the LCD but there's still quite a bit to learn about the the workings of the LCD and what commands and timings have to be introduced to the LCD before we can start putting characters to it. First, I think it's pretty important to take a look at the statement that they... First, I want to take a look at the data sheet and show you that they're emphasizing that you should make sure that the LCD or the chip that is on the LCD is not in the busy state when we're trying to send data to it. It's also saying if we don't check for the instruction, if we don't check for the busy state, then the time between the first instruction and the next instruction will take much longer than the instruction time itself. So it looks like it's just a, a, um, a function of taking a longer time, but in our initial tests of the LCD, we're not gonna be checking the busy state and we're gonna be increasing the time quite a bit anyway, so I'm just not gonna worry about it right now. And following that, they have a list of instructions that you can use with the, with the LCD. And on table 13, it shows some of the steps you have to take to write characters on the LCD. And this is table 13, and it shows a two-line display, which is what we're using. And you have to go through a certain order of operations here. You have to initialize, which is just turning it on. Uh, and this will set the LCD to 8-bit operation and selects two-line display and 5 by 8 dot character font. And then we turn on the display and the cursor. You can see the cursor there. And this command is telling the cursor to increment to the right one every time we send a character. Sometimes I don't actually like to put the the cursor on here because when you're putting out information really really fast if you're sensing some or using a sensor on the analog to digital con uh, converter um, that cursor will be flashing all over the place so you might want to turn that off in your application and we may we may do that in in this tutorial as well and this is writing data to the LCD and they're calling it the CG RAM or DD RAM. That's just the memory within the LCD, and it's just writing that to the display, whatever is in that part of the memory. So it's actually this part right here. So if we look up 01001000, let's see what that is. That's 72, and 72, and that would should be an H, but let's see what it is. 72, yep, that's an H. So you can see that this, these bits create an H in binary. 
and you continue doing that and um, keep writing data to the LCD. So let's go ahead and start putting in some of this information in the program. We don't need any of this stuff anymore. First, we need to make sure that it's in, it's going to be in write mode, or yeah, it's going to be in write mode. Let's first create a function to write a command. We'll just do a copy and paste of the character and send a command. Or well, they called it instruction in the data sheet, but I've been using command for so long. Yeah, I'm only using it in two places. Send it in an instruction. And I'll change the LCD instruction mode. Yeah, that's all I'm using, I think. All right. So we want to make sure that it is set to write and the LCD is in instruction mode. Let's save first. Hmm. Gotta write the whole thing again. Okay. So we set it to write, set it for instruction mode, we enable, and then we send the byte to the LCD data pins. So the first one is actually, I don't think we want to do that. We don't want to, we want to, yeah, that's fine. We want to make sure the instruction mode, the RS is, is low. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So in the main, we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and keep this as an A because eventually we're going to be sending a character anyway. LCD send an instruction and the instruction is going to be in binary form. I'm going to use eight zeros and I'm going to put the ones where they need to be. Um, in the in the data sheet where you see these stars just means that it doesn't matter what you have in here. It sort of ignores those. It ignores these positions completely. So you could have a zero or a one in these locations. It doesn't really matter. So we have two zeros, three ones, and three zeros. And this one is setting set to eight bit mode and two line display. Okay, so let's create another instruction. And the ones in this one are located right next to the last one. And this one is turning on the display and cursor. Sending another instruction, we need to set the mode to increment the address by one. Okay, and now we can start putting in the letters. Let's try newbie hack. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and do a build, see if I have anything that I've made a mistake on. Looks like everything looks good, and I'm gonna plug it in and flash the microcontroller. One thing to mention that I forgot to change is the time delays. And this is really slow, but I'm actually kind of curious to see what happens when the time delay is this slow and what happens with the LCD. Does the LCD, does it go into a reset or something over time? So let's see what happens. It'll be interesting. All right, let's Go ahead and do a flash the microcontroller. And it was done. Check that out. Huh. It put ABC in there first, which is kind of weird. I have no idea why that happened, but we'll, we'll find out. You'll see how slow it's going on, but it works, which is kind of cool. So let's reduce the time delay and see. Oh, you know what? I know why that happened, because it looks like it was in character mode instead of instruction mode. 
on the ABC. Why did it do that? <laughs> Let's check that out. So the instruction mode, hmm. Yeah, we have an instruction mode. So let's see what instruction mode has in there. It's kind of weird that it worked. Where's the instruction mode? Yeah, right here. Huh. LCD instruction mode is zero, and character mode is one. Register, so, oh, that's, no, that's, that should be right. That is really strange. I'm gonna check the data sheet, see what's going on here. It always messes up when I change screens. Okay. Function set zero 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 well, zero zero is the read write and register select and when you're doing the writing the, the character you have a one in the register select so instruction mode is register select is zero hmm. at this particular point I don't know what's going on but I'm gonna try this instruction to make it go to the second line just to see if it goes to the second line or it creates some character that would be associated with this binary number. I'm sure some of you watching this were probably saying, why didn't you do that? And you see my fault, but I don't see it yet. So let's see what I can do about that. Okay. So I'll put the hack on another line. Go to the next line. All right. Okay, so let's see, what is that instruction? One, one. All right. Okay, so let's see what happens with this. Oh wait, let me reduce the, reduce these. I'll go with 400 and 800. It should be instantaneous because these chips are really fast. So let's try it again. No errors, and let's reprogram the microcontroller. Okay, it did go to the next line, which is kind of interesting, but it shows an A. It didn't clear the screen. Let's see what is the command to clear the screen. Generally, when it turns on the display and it resets, it should do all that, but let's check that. Clear display, all right. There's just a one on the end, so let's do that. Let's clear the display. All right, build and program. There we go. Huh, I wonder if we even need these. Okay, well, I wanna to try to reduce the time delay just to see what happens. Okay, huh, okay, so that's too fast. So this, you can tell that this LCD is really slow. So I'm gonna increase the time delays and no, go with what I know works. Okay, newbie hack. All right. Okay, so we were successful in getting something on the LCD. Um, I still have a few things to work out here. I'm not sure what this is, um, but we'll see. Uh, the next thing we'll be working on after I figure this out, I'll probably try to figure this out before I do the next video, is we will be sending strings. So we could send this all in one string instead of sending them in separate lines of characters. And then the next thing I want to do is to be able to send a number as a variable rather than a number as a string, because later on when we do you know, more sophisticated projects, I want to be able to show a number from a variable onto the LCD. Like say we're trying to get some number from a sensor from zero to 255 or from zero to 1024 or whatever. I can show that actual number so I can see the numbers change as I'm uh, adjusting the sensor or adjusting the environment with respect to the sensor. So um, I think we're off to a good start on the LCD and stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching.